on there. I think that by that response, these people know that I've been here with them since the building started to fall. I've been here from day one, and uh, I will continue to be here with you until this entire thing is settled. I, that's my, my word to you. I will be with you. Thank you. And we believe you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Harrison, for putting this together. It's greatly needed and much appreciated. Uh, let me go back to Monday when we first received the call on this. Uh, the call came into our fire chief. Our fire chief responded immediately to come over here and check the, the uh, situation. At that point, we called in myself and my team, my administration team came here with our um, inspectors and our inspection team went through the building and designated the building as uninhabit uninhabitable. So at that point, uh, I got together with my team and we had to make decisions on what do we do with 39 families that are living in this building. We immediately addressed that by making a phone call with consent of the owner of the building to uh, a friend of mine who owns the Hilton in Providence. We then helped to shuttle and transport and help everybody from this building to move down into the Hilton. We also asked them to check with any family members if they had a place where they needed to go to. And uh, they had an opportunity to go with their families or go with the, to the Hilton. Uh, CCAP reached out and offered to pay for us over $4,000 a day per night for these people to stay up through Friday. So that was our initial response. We then reached out to uh, the American Red Cross. Please keep in mind that from the day I found out about this, my first text went to Governor McKee. He has been updated and he knows exactly what is happening in this situation. His office has designated a Miss Ahern to work with us, and she has been responding to my uh, Chief of Staff, Tony Moretti, since the beginning of this process. Every single day, the Red Cross has stepped up and fed these people three times a day at the hotel. At seven o'clock every night, I have been at that hotel with these people, giving them a meeting and an update as to where we're going. I showed up here today to go onto the property to get an update on inspections. One of the things that we found out last night that was those that live on the first floor will be the first ones back in as soon as we deem that the, the building was safe. So a majority of these people will be back in as soon as our inspections department clears that on the lower level. The problem that we see is up on the second floor and we've already indicated to these people that it may take a few months for that to be fixed and we have asked them to look for some type of uh, residence over during that time period. Please keep in mind that we have also reached out to the congressional as well as the state officials trying to get some extra funding to keep these people in place in a hotel so that they have a roof over their head. I have, I have not reached into the city coffers at this point. That will possibly, based on legal representation, be a last resort for us. But I can assure you, these people will not be homeless coming tomorrow. Let's not over-exaggerate that. <laughs> Through the Finance Department, we have reached out to the ARPA, the American Rescue Plan Act, to see if there are resources available to help these people. Again, I, I stepped onto this property and was told to leave by the owner of the property. I'm the mayor of the city. My job is to basically take care of the safety and welfare of the people of this city. As the head of public safety and fire, my, rep, my attorney said that I am, should be allowed to go on this so I can find what progress is being made so when I have a seven o'clock meeting tonight at the Hilton Hotel, I have something to tell these people. Was this today that you were told? This is today. I was told to get off the property. What's the owner said to you other than get off the property about the problems, fixing it, helping the people out? <laughs> and who, 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 who are you talking about? Josh Hennessy? Mike, I've talked to both of the owners. Who are the owners? 
Uh, I do know Josh. I don't know the second owner. Uh, he told me they would not pay for these people. I asked them yesterday if he would foot the bill to pay for these people to stay in the hotel. He said absolutely not. The owner said he would not. He was checking with his insurance company, so that's when I stepped up and got the funding through CCAP for them to stay for the three days. How many other buildings does he own in Cranston? I'm not sure, but I know he owns another one around the corner that collapsed a couple of months ago. Would you say that he's a slumlord of some sort? Yes. <laughs> yes. Legal says you can't say anything, Mayor, right? Just, just, that's fine. Legal recourse, I'll uh, that's cool. bite my tongue on that one. If you know me, I'm a fighter. I will fight for these people until my very last breath to make sure that they have a place to stay. Uh, I have been in confrontations with these owners from the day that I walked onto the property because they are responsible to take care of these people. It's the owner's responsibility. The city's responsibility is to provide leadership and step up. And that's exactly what we have done. That's exactly what we have done. And we have been here right from the very beginning. And I will not go away until this is finished. So to be clear, they will all be safely housed tomorrow night. We will make sure that they have a place to stay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Any other questions? Harrison, thank you for the invite. What kind of legal action can you take? Our lawyer, uh, our lawyer is Chris Malay. He has been in touch with their, their attorney and uh, I just talked to him a few minutes ago. They are having conversations as we speak. And in terms of the next few days, I mean, how are you going to make that happen? Well, unfortunately, before this happened, I had my emergency management team together because there's a storm coming. Mm -hmm. So I had to take care of that first. Then I left my office and came here. Believe me, these people will not be outside during a storm. I can guarantee you that. Mr. Mayor, who should these people uh, reach out to uh, tomorrow, as of tomorrow after 11 o'clock? We're having another me staff meeting. We will meet and update them at 7 o'clock this evening. That's Thank been the plan that we've been doing every day. Thank you. So if you want to show up at 7 o'clock at the Hilton, we'll be there with our, our latest update. Thank you. Okay. Is that a media availability as well? Absolutely. Yep. Well, we're there yesterday. Yep. <clears throat> no, we don't have anything to hide. Uh, with that, if there isn't any any questions, um, that concludes uh, this press conference. I want to thank the mayor for committing to house these residents, and uh, I hope everybody has a great rest of their day.